we're both guilty of having imposter syndrome. <laughs> so it's like getting on set and, and knowing that we kind of booked it off one tape and was, that was really cool. Yeah. I am very excited to chat with you both for Ted. Uh, I absolutely love this show. And I, ironically enough, I actually love both of your episodes in the Orville, uh, Georgia, you especially as well. Your character is such a fascinating yeah, one. Especially. To <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you. Cool, dude. I love that you get to reunite with Seth for this. What was it like when you both were approached by him to get to be a part of this show? Yeah, I mean, it's one of the coolest. It was one of the coolest processes, you know, that we get to go through as actors is when seth the thing about seth is when he when he knows he wants something he knows exactly what he's looking for yeah. so i think one of the coolest things and this doesn't happen ever is that we did one tape both of us yeah just sent in one tape and we got hired off of that tape it was, That's that was it. the whole casting process then we Normally got a phone call from seth personally saying which is which also which never also happens. doesn't happen yeah, yeah it was it was so special so i think like that you know just having him trust in us so much so quickly you know without it's the, a confidence booster for it sure. was huge yeah, yeah because he, we we're both guilty of having imposter syndrome <laughs> so it's like getting on set and, and knowing that we kind of booked it off one tape and was, that was really cool yeah well that's incredible you both deserve it uh because you're both really cool. wonderful in these roles max i'll turn to you next you have the opportunity to fill mark Wahlberg's younger shoes in this movie yeah. What is it like sort of laying the groundwork in a sense for John as he grows up? Yeah, I mean, honestly, so much of it is in the material already. So I didn't, it wasn't that much of like a, oh God, how do I play this this younger part? What do I do? It was, you know, he's very, we see a lot of his firsts, but he is very similar to how he is as an adult. He's kind of an idiot. He follows along with his best friend who's, instincts are almost solely destructive like whether of other things or self-destructive um you know the challenging part was definitely the accent that was that was tough uh you know had a dialect coach going into it uh but got to a place that i was comfortable with i can i can kind of pull it out anytime i need um yeah filling his shirt i think would be harder he's got very big <laughs> arms his muscles are huge <laughs> Yes, I, I can imagine. Uh, but uh, the accent in particular, yeah, uh, it's one that's easy to mess up. Um, one thing, uh, I got one of the screeners for this, and it reminded me how interesting of an experience it must be to act alongside a puppeteer teddy bear. And I'm curious what that experience is like for you both, given you have so many scenes with him and you have to, you know, imagine that this is a real life figure. Yeah, hard in the beginning for sure yeah. yeah um yeah it's uh it's it's wild you know you kind of become sort of a you feel a little bit psychotic at, at sometimes because yep. i can look literally look at the ground right now and if they said okay we're gonna roll we're gonna call action and you have to yell at ted i see ted you know what i mean like you start to hallucinate yeah. and be able to visualize him in, in space and having seth there doing That's the funny. voice and bringing that energy for us was just is so helpful so yeah yeah it's uh it was, it was also cool, but... it was it was really funny whenever there's a moment where you have to interact physically with the bear like oh, handing yeah. him a bong or something <laughs> uh there was a woman named ally who shout out to ally would be like hiding under a bed she's like a contortionist like, yeah she would like hide under a bed and like, like or like in like out back or like in between yeah. some bushes <laughs> and she would have like a ted glove on her hand and she would like reach out and contort and you would hand it to her yeah just to give hand. reference to the animators great. yeah so she was shout out to ally yeah so that was funny too because we would just we would all of a sudden see a hand come out of the bed and you're yeah. like whoa i forgot she was there surreal. yeah it's cool Wow. Shout out to Allie then. She sounds like oh, yeah. she put in just as much effort as y'all. Uh, before I let you go, I mean, I'm hopeful for a season two, but what is something you would both like to explore with the, uh, your characters if you were to continue? John's got to get laid. It's, <laughs> it's about time that he's such a dweeb. He needs, he needs to like step it up and I don't know, do something to like make himself a little more appealing. He's he's a geek. Uh, maybe get jacked. Maybe he could. Maybe he could do that. Mm. Um, that could be fun. <laughs> I think. Uh, I think it would be really cool to just kind of explore Blair's. Uh, I think almost like her personal life a little bit more. Mm. Uh, I think you know we get to see a little bit in this season of 
you know, I, I can't give too much away, but you do get to see a little bit of her personal life and who she surrounds herself with. But I think getting into her college life maybe a little bit would be cool. Also just continuing her, uh, you know, journey with the family and trying to bring John up and uh, have him stop making such- Rehabilitate us. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's a good way to put it, exactly. <laughs> I love that. Well, I would love to see that. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm really looking forward to spreading the word about season one at the very least. You guys killed it in this show. And I think those who love the movie like myself are going to have an absolute blast. So thank you for taking the time. I appreciate it. Yeah, Thanks so much, man. Absolutely.